Hi guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons. I'm back. I'm so excited. I just realized my nails look terrible, but we're gonna ignore that. Just look at the footballs. I am back. Yes, I took the whole month of August off of filming videos and I'm excited to get back into the game, back into the coloring, back into the fun times here on YouTube. But for now, I'm going to show you the seven and a half pages I finished in August. And I'm also gonna show you my scrapbooking because that is what I spent a lot of my time doing this month and I just figure why not. But I'm gonna show the, all that at the end. So if you're not into that kind of thing, no worries. We'll say goodbye in the middle. Um, I also was thinking about showing you my glue book, but I have realized now I didn't bring it out. So I'll have to show you that next month. But yes, so I ended up completing seven and a half pages, like I said, which honestly is more than I was expecting. <laughs> uh, my goal was five. So I beat my goal. But yeah, it was a nice month off. And it was a good time doing other things. And my goal going forward is to one, just like be better at balancing and not put everything off for years and then come back to it like this and also to kind of let myself color what I want still because again I think with having a channel I don't know anyone else who has a channel might agree or disagree but you kind of feel like you keep having to do different things new things um, mixing it up instead of showing the same books over and over again. But sometimes when you're coloring, you just wanna color the same thing. So it's gonna be, if I want to just like color Camellia minis all month, I might just do that. So we'll see. But for now, let me just get into what I did finish. This is the Posh Ultimate Creative Activity book. And I actually really like this. It came out many years ago and it has like five different types of pages in here, which is pretty cool including some Colortronic pages and some Color Quest pages. So I actually did a Color Quest page this month and it was this one. And again, it's huge. I guess I can mostly see it if I turn it sideways. And yeah, I did all of this with, I think, Bic Intensity uh, permanent markers. And this took a few days, to be honest with you, because I would just keep it on my desk and color when I was feeling like it. And I do, again, really like these pages. And yeah, what else is in this book? It also has like dot to dot. It has mazes. It has what it calls extreme coloring, which is like super patterns. And then it says, honey, honey, I don't know how to pronounce it. Let me just go to one of these. These types of puzzles where if you've ever done them before, so it's like there's a group of six and then a group of 33 and you have to like figure out where and it's like a whole big puzzle and I've never done them this extreme, but I really want to try and there is answers in the back in case you get stuck. But yeah, there's some color tronic in here, but I just did this one this month and I love these color quest books a lot. <clears throat> then I did my first page from this Rilakkuma book. I, again, I mention it all the time. I'm tired of myself, but I have a Patreon in which we do a bingo board every single month. And since I knew I wasn't coloring a lot, my goal for the month of August was to try to fulfill as many prompts as possible with as few pages as possible. So I think this page did like four prompts, but I got this from a Japanese bookstore that's nearby. Yes, so this was my first page in the book. I used water-based markers. Sam picked this page and I told him to pick a predominantly pink one. Um, I don't know if he was right, but that's what we did. So that's this page. What's fun about the Japanese versions of these books, because obviously there are the French Disney ones and there are also like Japanese one Disney ones and also other characters like this Rilakkuma, is they tend to have more white space in the background. So it's like a polka dot background behind him. And yeah, you can even, I don't know if you can tell because it's so whitewashed, but there's a lot of white space on this other page too. So I was happy to get a page done in this book and I'm kind of really wanting to go back to that bookstore again and seeing if I have any more luck because their coloring section is just literally one shelf. So it's whatever they got, they got. But we shall see. Next up, 
I was feeling a little guilty about not working on my 10 books to finish. So I did end up doing two pages, which is obviously not very much, but I did one page out of 100 beautiful mandalas. Oh, did I do two pages? No, I just did the one, right? Yeah. And my original plan for the month was I was going to every page I finished I was also going to do a mandala using the same colors but I only ended up doing that once but these are the same colors as that color quest page so it's literally the same markers I think I did one less blue because I like to do uh, an odd number of colors and I think that was an even number of colors for that other book but I like this one and I'm I think at less than 15 left in here so very exciting gotta work in that more then my second 10 book to finish is City Dreams by Alice Mills Publishing. I think this is the most recent one to come out in the other style. So this is the cross stitch style and the other style is just color by number. And I love these a lot, but I think I love the color by number versions even more. So I'm gonna obviously continue in the cross stitch I already own, but going forward, I'm buying the other version. But did I do one or two? I keep not knowing. So I work backwards in this book. I did just do the one and it is Amsterdam. So I'm pretty sure I also use permanent markers for this, but there it is. Yeah, the color by number version, you get even more detail because it is bigger segments. So makes sense, but this still looks good. And I love that they have one names for all of them. In this, the City Dreams, the names aren't very exciting because it's usually just the location, but um, it just has like fun titles in the other books. And I like that you get your example. So I was pretty close to my example. So I think those are the only two 10 books to finish pages I got done. I also finished a page in uh, ocean miniatures. Why are the, okay, yeah. So I did, sorry the pirate octopus so this ended up working for five of my prompts which was really great and yes i don't know about anybody else i always make my octopus purple so it was like a struggle to not have this guy be purple but i wanted to mix it up so i did like all the warm colors and he is an orange octopus i think he looks pretty good i'm happy with what I did, but he's not purple, and that's weird for me. So I also have some glitter around, like on the fish, on his hat, and mostly that on the on this claw thing. But yes, nice and simple. I really love that book. So that was another finished page. Then I did one page in Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures by Hannah Lynn. I haven't done a Hannah Lynn page in a long time. And I did this one. <clears throat> I have to cough. I'm sorry. <coughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so I used my Tao Tree markers. And in the background, I did a uh, pastel, Jane Davenport pastel. And I actually did this with the three color challenge in mind. So I only used shades of purple, pink, and yellow. And I think it came out pretty good. I did a rainbow in glitter, glitter on her foot wear i don't know what those are called foot ribbons <laughs> and yes i just think it's cute and i think that the color palette worked out pretty good her skin was pinker than i would usually make it but that's the colors i was working with so i did do, do that and i'm happy to have another hannah lynn done i don't know i was a huge 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 hannah lynn fan i still am but i don't really like i'm not really drawn to the pages anymore but then once i do them i enjoy them like i don't there's very few Hanolin pages that I've done that I don't like. And usually it's just because I made like really bad color choices, but usually it ends up being a fun time. So did that. And then for the final page and a half, I just did Out of Geometric Patterns, volume one through 10 by David Hinkin Jr. There are 240 pages in here and I've done very few but I did get one and a half more done. So let's get right to it. I did this one. These, I just decided like patterns are so good for just like sitting and watching TV or watching a movie and just going for it. So I did this one and as you can see, I ended up just not doing the outside edge. I didn't do the top or bottom either because that is my one complaint about this book 
is it's hard to get into those edges. So I was like, I don't need to do the edge. So I just didn't. So this is my complete tid page. And then I'm almost done with this page, but it is officially September 1st when I'm filming. So it will have to count as a September page instead, but I'm almost done. And I did go through the edges, but that's because this pattern was so much bigger that it was easier to do that. And I don't know if you can tell, I made two mistakes so far and I just had to white out over it and go over it again. This one is definitely more noticeable, which was sad, but that was the other one. So could you have told if I didn't tell you? I'm not positive, but yeah, that is my seven and a half pages. So I'm again, like I said, looking forward to getting a lot more done in September. I'm feeling ready to be back at it and I am ready to start doing my fall and spooky books. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to be switching out my cart and getting like starting clean and putting all of those fall and spooky books on the cart. And I will probably in the next video or two have a um, fall bucket list coloring thing going on. I've done that in the past. I'm going to do that again. And what else about coloring specifically? I don't know if there is anything else about coloring specifically. I am just happy to be back at it. So that is that on that. So if that's all you're here for, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. But now I'm gonna show off my scrapbooking pages because again, that's what I did a lot of and I'm excited about it. So first I'm gonna just show you some random pages I got done through the month and then I'll show you what I got done at the expo. There is gonna be glare. These are in their pockets already, so there's like, I'm not gonna take them out for that, but hopefully you'll be able to see the rest of it. But yeah, this one is actually just like a literal pocket sleeve that was just in this stack, but I love these because you can kind of put full photo, like photo strips in amongst your layouts, which is nice. So this was from the Tilt Museum, which is actually in the American Dream Mall. And it's basically a um, perspective museum, as you can see. So like, it looks like we're getting squished by the shoe. And these are just colored pencils that I had to pose in front of. And like, you could sit in the little pew pew and <laughs> pew pew pew. So this was fun. And I'm still gonna do a layout about this day, but now I have 12 less pictures to worry about. Then, oh my God, half of my camera roll is pictures of this little miss. So I decided to just do a whole sleeve to again, narrow down some of them. And I still have probably like 40 printed pictures ready to go. This is one of my favorite pictures of all time of her and my dad. And then I just put her in lots of little outfits. So that's her pajamas. That's me and her, that's the Emmy and her. And like, look at her staring at me. I don't know what I was doing. And then we put hats on her and that's her in the leaves. She loves fall. And her in the dirt, her little shirt, so cute. Love this doggy. She got wet in the rain and then there's her blinking. I think I just had a really good timing. She blinks dramatically. So there's that. And then I finished some of the pages of visiting Emily back in October. I'm really behind. And again, I'm so sorry for the glare. Um, I don't want to hit the, hit the monopod. So let's see if I can tilt. But yes, we went on a boat tour around the river and these are pictures from that so chicago river tour and i just did a bunch of flower cutouts and then i had the other side on the other side so that's a double page which makes it hard to see and my favorite meet me at the bean i was so excited for the bean emily's like do people really care about the bean and i was like yes yes we do so these are my bean pictures and there's a whole bunch of them down the side of my little photo shoot and then there's me and Sammy at the bean. Yeah, I wish it was a picture of the three of us in front of it, but um, other people don't always care about taking pictures for you. So we had a stranger take them and they weren't very good. It always makes me so mad because a lot of the times, this is a complete tangent. A lot of the times I'll take the picture for them first and then I'll be like, okay, can you take a picture of us? And like, I did this once in Washington DC. It was in front of the Lincoln Memorial. And I like laid on the ground to get good angles of these pictures. And I was like, okay, cool. Can you take one of us? And they were literally like, click. 
And I was like, oh, thanks. So it's a bad picture. And then, like, they're still near you, so you feel awkward asking someone else, but you have a bad picture, so you need to. So it's a whole thing. But Emily took that one, which is why it's good. And we went around to the back, so there's, like, nobody there. So there's Emily. But anyway, meet me at the bean. Love it. And then this is um, my cousin's, cousin's daughter's middle school graduation or I guess like grade school graduation and now she's in middle school so cute and you could see it in this picture we were like blowing bubbles while we were taking the pictures and that's why I made everything look like bubbles that was the goal Ooh, I hit you anyway okay and then medium golf so there is like a pigeon putt that we go to with Lydia every once in a while that it's like a par three course so it's medium golf because it's not mini, but it's not big. But that's just a lot of layers. And then the rest of it is from the expo. So let me take this out. This is not in the order that I did them, but it's fine. Also, I'm so happy to be showing you because I have been resisting putting them away until I showed you. But yes, okay. So this is Disney Bound. This is us in the airplane on the way. I had my airplane paper, my little uh, Disney accent. And while we were at the... Um, expo because Sam actually was my guest that's not right he came with me and next door there was actually a toy expo and Sam checked that out and he bought me some stickers so I put it on there right away because might as well use it but that was that super cute and a lot of these are super simple but I have plans to do like 40 pages from Disney, so I really just wanted to get things done. So we went to Disney during the uh, Festival of the Arts. So they had a bunch of artwork, like famous artwork that you could stand in. And so we did the screen. So there's that. And then this is something else I got from the expo. They do like these cool cutouts. So, and then I punched these, or I had Sam do it. So um, when we went, you were not allowed to get close to the characters still. So there is Minnie all the way in the back. And I was taking a selfie, but it's still super cute. And I also bought this at the expo, like a pre-made cutout, and I love that. And so this was at Toy Story Land. And we, without knowing, um, got bought the same t-shirt. So we wore it the same day. Well, once we knew we bought it, like we found out before the trip, but after we had already purchased the um shirts so then once we found that out we planned to wear it together so we were all in our pizza planet shirts and it was my favorite thing because i love to match so love this page with ooh and then uh, so we um this is us on dumbo and it was funny because we went to rope drop and we were intending on going to the seven dwarfs mine ride and when we got there it was like closed so we're like let's not wait in line who knows how long it'll take so we ended up rope dropping dumbo and we were the very first people there for the day and we each got our own dumbo so i thought that was really funny rope drop dumbo then this ended up working perfectly because again he got me this sticker and obviously like Pooh Bear, there wasn't bears at the safari, which that's what this is, a safari, but Pooh Bear is in fact a bear, and this is just super cute, and I happened to pick bee paper because I was like, I didn't have any animal print, but I had bees, and then Pooh and the bees go great, so I took a bunch of pictures, but I just love the hippo and the giraffe maybe the most, and then there we go again, so I just, nice and easy safari, and then here is a double so it goes like this, but I'm gonna show you individuals. So this is another one I had gotten from the expo that this was a pre-done cutout. And this is just like our photo shoot um, outside the Millennium Falcon. You can see it back there. And they uh, Disney adds in those things, like we had the photo pass. So all their professional photographers took these pictures and they add in the extra magic. So they added in the Porg. So when you're there, they're just like, okay, look at his elbow and look shocked. I'm like, okay. And then they add that in later. It's pretty fun. So that was that. And then the other half, again, that's me and Lydia and Chewbacca and the group of us. And then this was actually in the ride that now I can't remember the name of. Rise of the Resistance? I think so. And it's really cool. And I think there's really just like one row of them. And then with the mirrors, it looks like there's hundreds. So that was a lot of fun. 
Then again, another cutout I bought at the expo, which made this page super duper easy. It's just like three layers of paper, but the tree of life. And that's what's hard for me about scrapbooking Disney is that like when I went in 2013 and when I went in 2018 and now when I went in 2022, I have the same picture in front of the tree of life. So it's like, how do you spice it up? So that's why I kind of just went simple. So the tree of life had this fun cutout and there it is. But all of that. This is one of my favorite pictures. Uh, we did Rock and Roller Coaster. It was my first time on Rock and Roller Coaster because Sam does not like going upside down and I think there was one loop, but um, we knew the camera was coming. So Lydia and I put up our rock and roll hands. I don't think they could hear us, which is why they didn't. But like, you could tell we're all like screaming. And the only bad part about this ride is that my head, because I'm short, was like right in line with the arms. So like I was smacking my ears into these things. And like if I had earrings on, I'm pretty sure my ears would have been bleeding. But I got lucky. So this is like super shiny paper. It's really hard to show you. So I just said, I want to rock. And I put like my little hidden Mickey, which is not so hidden. And I have a bunch of these cut out because it's just like a punch. So I'm debating like putting one on every single page. There is some on a bunch, but... We'll see, and then just do my little hidden Mickey. Okay, second to last, Tootsies. Um, so this is actually after our Universal Day, so it's kind of a lie that I have these Mickeys, but we went to the hotel pool and stuck our feet in because of all the walking. So just our feet in the pool, and Sam did not, so that's Sam's behind. I'll cover it, <laughs> but that's it, and I just called it, we called it Tootsies, and I don't know if Lydia had never heard that word, or just like not heard it a lot. I don't know. It was funny because she's like Tootsie. So then we were like the Tootsie Club. And I actually did this page for a challenge at the expo. Um, you had to like do a pattern paper background. Well, a pattern paper, a solid paper, um, something shiny, ephemera. It popped dots. So like this is actually popped up. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, tearing and stamping like there were like eight different things I had to do so I did that but I did not win the contest but I did get a pin which I'll show you in a different video and then finally another super simple one this one just says M&M &M, but there was an M&M &M store at downtown Disney that of course we not only shopped at but had to take pictures at and I just used my washi tape and I just picked a bunch and I did a stripe of each because I need to use my washi tape more. And then these are the gem colors that I had that I also tried to put in a rainbow order. And that was it. And again, nice and simple, but I just wanna get these pages done. So that is it, that is all I did, which I think I did 12 at the expo. I think it was like four or five before we went. So pretty good for me. Technically, I still have pages from October to finish. So I need to do October, the few more at, um, Hello, uh, in Chicago with Emily. I don't know if I did anything from Halloween last year. I have to do my birthday. I have to do the whole holiday season. And then I have like 20 more Disney pages to do. And then I'll be ready to do the rest of 2022. So I have a lot of work to go, but my goal is to do some every once in a while instead of waiting forever and ever so we'll see maybe every month i might have some stuff to show you let me know what you think do you want to see more pages from me as i finish them in the future let me know so that's it for now this is still a pretty short video but that's all i got done so I am so glad to be back. I will be back in two days with something new. Again, probably my fall bucket list. And let me know any videos you want to see from me. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, I guess we'll have to uh, say M&Ms as our secret word or like the little chocolate bar emoji if you so choose. But I'm so glad to be back. And you know what was crazy? I had like 60 new subscribers while I was gone. And I'm like, that was one of my better months of the year. And I didn't even post anything. So hopefully you guys are excited to see what I post because I'm excited to be back. So that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you again in two days. Bye, friends.